welcome to our channel Cognibot. So in previous video we have already discussed about AC motor and in today's video we are going to discuss about DC motor. That what is a DC motor and how it is constructed and what are the applications of DC motor and its working principle. So let's start what is a DC motor. So a DC motor is an electrical machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. And uh, a DC motor, in a DC motor, the input current is the direct current which is transformed into mechanical rotation. So in this session, we are going to discuss more about the DC motor. So uh, when we go through the construction of a DC motor, there are basically four main parts of a DC motor. So first of all, uh, there is a rotor, then stator, and commutator and brushes. So these are the four main parts of a DC motor. So let's start with a rotor. So in a DC motor, the rotor is also known as armature. So let's start what is an armature or a rotor. So the armature of a DC motor is a cylinder of magnetic laminations that are insulated from one another. And the armature is perpendicular to the uh, axis of the cylinder. And the armature is a rotating part that rotates on its axis and is separated from the field uh, by an air gap. Now next one is field coil or stator. Stator is also known as field coil. So a DC motor field coil is a non-moving part on uh, which is wound to produce a magnetic field. So this electromagnet cylindrical cavity between its poles. Now next one is commutator. So the commutator of a DC motor is a cylindrical structure that is made of copper segments stacked together but insulated from each other using mica. So the primary function of a commutator is to supply electrical current to the armature winding. And then the last uh, or the fourth main uh, part of a DC motor is brushes. So the brushes of a DC motor are made with graphite and carbon structure. These brushes conduct electric current from the external circuit to the rotating commutator. Hence we come to understand that the commutator and the brush unit are concerned with transmitting the power from the static electrical uh, circuit to the mechanically rotating region or the rotor. Now let's start the working of a DC motor. How a DC motor works? So in a DC motor, a magnetic field arises in the air gap when the field coil of the DC motor is energized. The created magnetic field is in the direction of the radii of the armature. So the magnetic field enters the uh, armature from the north pole side of the field coil and exits the armature from the uh, field coil's south pole. And the conductors located on the other side are subjected to a force of the same intensity but in the opposite direction. So these two opposing forces create a torque that causes the motor armature to rotate. Now let's discuss what is the working principle of a DC motor or we can say on which principle it does a DC motor works. So when kept in a magnetic field, a current carrying conductor gains torque and develops a tendency to move. In short, when electric fields and magnetic fields interact, a mechanical force arises and this is the principle on which the DC motors work. Now, what are the types of DC motors? So, to cater to the wide range of applications of DC motor, they are classified into different types based on the field winding uh, uh, connections to the armature as a self-excited DC motor and separately excited DC motor. So now let us discuss the various types of DC motors in detail. So let's start with self-excited DC motor. In self-excited DC motors, the field winding is connected either in series or parallel to the armature winding. So based on this, the self-excited DC motor can be further classified as first shunt wound DC motor, then series wound DC motor and the last one or the third one is compound wound DC motor. So in a shunt wound motor, the field winding is connected parallel to the armature. Now DC motors having both shunt and series field winding is known as compound DC motor 
and the compound motors is further divided into two types cumulative compound motor and differential compound motor so in a cumulative compound motor the magnetic flux produced by both the windings is in the uh, same direction and in a differential compound motor the flux produced by the series field winding is opposite to that of the parallel winding now next is separately excited dc motor so in a separately excited dc motor the field coils are energized from an external sources of dc supply now let us uh, talk about a brush dc motor and a brushless dc motor so a brushless dc motor also known as synchronous dc motor unlike the brushed one do not have a commutator so the commutator in a brushless dc motor is replaced by an electronic servo mechanism that can detect and adjust the angle of the rotor now a brushed dc motor features a commutator that reverses the current every half cycle and creates single direction torque so while brushed dc motors remain popular many have been phased out for more efficient brushless models in recent years now uh let us talk about the applications of dc motors so the applications of different types of dc motors are so uh, shunt dc motors owing to the fairly constant speed and medium starting torque of the shunt dc motors they are used in the following applications so uh, first one is centrifugal and reciprocating pumps lathe machine blowers and fans then drilling machine then milling machines and machine tools then uh, there is series dc motor so owing to the uh, high starting torque and variable speed of series dc motors they are used in the, uh, the these applications like conveyors then hoist and elevators then cranes and electric locomotives then next one is cumulative compound dc motor so owing to the high starting torque of cumulative compound dc motors they are used in shears then heavy planers rolling mills and elevators so today's video was all about a dc motor now in next video we will start something uh, some new topic and uh, if you like this video then please like subscribe and share